So I got a quick fix to show you guys and um, I was just getting ready to do it and I thought, you know what, I should probably put this on video because uh, I've been trying to put more content and some uh, useful videos at least up for people that are fixing, tinkering, and obviously I play around with stuff too. So if you pay attention to the channel, I appreciate it. Um, what I got here is going to fix uh, a good size exhaust hole in, in my Tahoe. I found it while doing some other work and uh, it's good size. Um, right before my last part, of, last section of the exhaust where it goes through um, the last muffler and then out, uh, out the tailpipe. So uh, nothing major, but it's a good size hole. Anyway, um, I looked around for some products, um, tapes, fiber wraps, things like that, and uh, uh, picked a product. And basically, I'm just gonna kind of take you through me fixing it. And um, I guess we'll see how it works uh, down the road. So. Um, Anyway, I'll show you the hole in the exhaust and what I'm gonna use. All right, so first let's take a look at the hole in the exhaust. As you can see, I've got a broken exhaust mount and where it broke off of the mount and also where it's welded to the actual exhaust, the mount's actually broken. I just moved it up to where it should be. Uh, got a sizable hole. This is what I landed on. I decided to try um, fiber fix. And basically what this is, is a wrap in this package. You soak it in water for about 10 seconds, get it wet, um, wring it out a little bit, wrap the pipe um, with about you know uh, half overlap. And you wanna use the whole section of the pipe and we're gonna go all the way across the, uh, the hole. And then you have this tape that you can wrap around it afterwards kind of holds the heat in. And basically what you do after you wrap that is um, either heat it up by running the exhaust for a while, or you're going to use a heat gun and heat the wrap up and that's basically what cures it. So we'll use a heat gun. Um, they also gave an abrasion piece of paper, probably just to, to prepare the surface a little bit, which we'll do. And then some gloves um, for applying the product. Okay, first I'm just going to come in here, get things out of the way. Not sure how much I actually need to prepare this space with the way this stuff works, but I'm just going to run this around and get some of this stuff off. Right. Wraps inside of here. We're just going to go ahead and tear it open. Here's the wrap. I'm gonna go ahead and just drop it in the water and let it sit there for a second. And supposedly you just need to let it sit for just a few seconds. And this just kind of activates the material. Um, and then we'll move over and start wrapping the exhaust. All right, so I got the heat gun warmed up and ready to go. And I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put this thing on high. Um, it reacts to temperature and that's how it starts its bonding and curing process. So I'm just gonna nail it with this heat gun for a while. All right, so that was pretty easy. Um, 
simple to wrap around the uh, piping there. And uh, I wasn't in the best position because I was trying to leave space for the camera underneath the, uh, the exhaust there. So you guys can kind of see. So hopefully that was a decent angle. Um, and, um, you know, applying that um, reflective tape over the wrap uh, went pretty easy as well too, not too bad. So pretty quick and simple to put on. Uh, you know, took me longer to take the rear tire off really than to, uh, than to wrap that thing up. So I had the heat gun on there for, you know, a good 15 minutes or so on high. Um, it's got a longer cure time. It's still pretty hot right now. Uh, so I thought I would go ahead and run the vehicle um, just to see uh, if it's got any obvious leaks or anything going by that fiber, which I, I don't expect. Um, but then I'm just gonna go ahead and, and run it as well, uh, at least for a little bit and um, let it heat up some more and cure. So uh, let's go ahead and start the Tahoe and uh, let it run for a little bit. Okay, so here's a good point of view of the fix. Uh, garage door is open, safety first, right? Don't run your vehicle in a closed garage. And I'm gonna go ahead and start it up and see if we notice any, uh, any exhaust coming through. It's uh, high 30s here in Washington, so pretty easy to see uh, exhaust vapors and stuff like that. So here we go. Um, not seeing any exhaust leaks. And like I said, it should be fairly easy to see the exhaust if there were any leaks. So, looks like the quick fix. Do uh, what just what it needs. All right, I'm all buttoned up. I'm gonna go take her for a drive. Just wanna say thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully this is useful for you guys. You got any comments, uh, put them below. Like my other videos, I'm always pretty good about responding, answering questions, um, and you know, digging a little deeper if you guys got some good ones. So um, also give me a like, subscribe if you like. I know there's a few of you out there that follow. And uh, I try and do you know a video a week or so, something random I'm doing or, or playing on. Uh, I like doing e-boards and, and then, of course, I tinker on cars and stuff all the time. So anyway, I uh, appreciate the time, guys. I uh, hope that was useful. Talk to you later.